hey guys welcome back to my channel i know i haven't been here for a minute but um i am doing a lot of stuff this summer and i'm trying to do a giveaway for you guys because you guys are so sweet in the comments and my subscribers are going up and up and i feel like i should give back to you guys especially since you guys are so sweet and kind to me also um yeah so make sure you are staying tuned in for that giveaway. I don't know when I'm going to do it yet, but I will announce when I'm going to do it soon. So make sure you guys are up to date. And um, if you also want to know how to get this look, make sure you continue to watch. And also subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so that you can get notified for when I upload my... <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit the little bell down below next to the subscribe button so that you guys could get notified every time I upload. Let me stop. <laughs> I'm so annoying. But yeah, without further ado, if you want to know how to get this look, make sure you continue to watch. Hey guys, so this video is basically going to be like me using affordable products for you guys because I don't want to do tutorials where... It's just so high end. I want to make sure that you guys are able to get the stuff that I'm using so you guys could do the same looks that I'm doing. Anyways, I'm going to take my Brazilian palette. That's what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to go in with this nice yellow shade. Oh, wait. First, 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 first. Forgot. First, I'm going to take my tape and go like this so that when you rip it off, it doesn't hurt your eyes. I'm going to take this yellow shade and I'm going to blend it on my lid and I'm going to build it up so that when I apply the other, other colors you could actually just a heads up guys you want to build it like this like you want to really intensify the yellow because um, you're going you're gonna to add other colors and you want to have the yellow show because I think that um, because it's the summertime you should always have like your bright bright colors through your colors. Now I'm going to go and take this light green shade right up here and then I'm going to blend it in with the yellow right in my lower crease. See, I'm not even going to lie to you. This palette is great. Like, no lie, it's great for the price that you're paying for it. But the colors are really, like, powdery. And they're not so, like, blinding. Like, they don't have, like, a full pigment. It's, like, very, uh, like, a sheer pigment color. So, yeah, um, we're just going to blend it up and build up that color. I'm going to take the same brush. And to build up that green, I'm going to go in with the darker green right next to that yellow that we used. And I'm going to build up that green using that color right where the, we put that green, right in the lower crease. This is just going to intensify the green and give it more of a pigment. You see it, right? Like, you see the difference? At first we had like a mustardy color, now it's like a real pop of green. Take this Morphe R39 and this is like a more denser brush to play with in the crease. And I'm going to take this shade right here. Oops. I'm going to take this shade right here and it's like this nice turquoise color and I'll apply it in my outer crease right here. And just blend it upwards with that green. So, and it like, it just deepens that color and it makes it look like a darker green, but instead it's a turquoise, which I find to be very pleasing to the eye. It's really, really pretty. I love the color. So I'm just going to blend that out so it doesn't look, that's so, so pretty. Stunning. Now we're going to go in with this midnight purple right here next to the purple and the turquoise. And I'm going to build up that outer corner just a little tad bit. Be careful because this color is extremely intense. This is probably like the most pigmented color in that palette. But yeah, I'm just going to take it on the same brush and just blend it in that color. And kind of bring it up to like the brow bone. So that 
ready. Finish wash colors. So I'm just gonna like kind of lightly blend it a little more, like more towards the inner corner, like in the middle. Now it's time for us to cut the crease. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade right under that turquoise color and I'm gonna apply it all over the lid. Going back in with that same purple midnight shade and then just going back and Intensifying increase. Mm -hmm. Does it look nice and blended? Let's see this way. Now I'm gonna go back with that green and just build it a little more. So I removed the tape and I'm going to apply this glitter, this white glitter with this NYX glitter glue. I'm going to apply it all over my lids because I feel like it just needs a little bit of sparkle. I feel like it's missing something. taking my LA Pro coverage in the color warm beige and I'm taking my Morphe TV sponge and I'm just gonna pass the foundation over my skin. to 
So I did the blue eyeliner off camera because it took me like a while to like finesse and I did like white liner using like NYX, the NYX liners I used the blue one and I used the white one and I used a black elf liner. I know I did a lot off camera but it's, it's kind of hard to do that type of stuff. I'm gonna go and take one of these diamond thingies. You could do any one. You could, do, you could choose any of your choice. I chose like a small teeny tiny one. And I'm gonna use the NYX glue, the glitter glue to apply that. I felt like this look needed a knot, a lot of spice. Yeah. I did apply falsies off camera too. I, I used the Kiss. Um, falsies in the style number two. Now I'm just gonna go in with some blush. A little bit of that. And then applying it like right on my cheekbones and right where I put my. Uh. Now for the lips, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild um, lip color in the color Nudist. Peach, and I thought this color would go best with this look. I don't know why, but I add peach, but it's a summer color, so why not? For highlight, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild. This one's supposed to be a Wet n Wild tutorial, but I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild highlighter in the Mega one. Let's just build it up though. I don't like some highlights. gonna set my whole face using the NYX setting spray and this is the final look and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you on my next video